Okay. Hey everybody, Mark Tedesco here. Just got back from Old Norms up there in McAdam, New Brunswick, Canada. Again, I, I can't uh, express what a great time we had up there. I've been to a lot of camps, like I said earlier, and uh, you know, for the price, you just can't beat it. Anyways, I uh, don't do too many of these uh, testimonials for outfitters because uh, it always comes back to haunt me later on, but uh, Norm's the real deal. And I got no problem, no problems at all uh, expressing uh, what a great time I had up there. Uh, you know, for, the, for those that don't know me, I'm, I'm an avid archery uh, compound bow hunter up until the last couple of years because of some injuries. I've been using a crossbow, but I've taken almost 34 bears, now 32 of them with a the crossbow, I mean with the uh, compound, excuse me, and then a couple with the crossbow, and uh, had a real blast up in Norms doing it. Um, in the video here, this uh, little uh, video I'm putting together for Norm, uh, I just want to explain uh, the different bears that came in. I had probably 10 different bears all together coming in at different baits. And um, on the shot that I actually took on the last night, I had a rubbed bear, probably a little bit bigger than what I actually took. Uh, I had a rubbed bear come in, and uh, you'll see that footage. And I, le I let him go because, you know, the pelt was really no good to me. And then about a half hour later, uh, the, other, the other guy, probably a 200 pound bear, we didn't really have time to weigh it up, but I estimated about 200 pounds and uh, put the herd on it. Uh, the fire knocked worked great, lit it right up. So that's about it. The rest of the, the footage will show you uh, exactly what uh, the camp is like. And uh, just, just a little intro I got here. And uh, my lovely wife's going to pan the room here just to show you a few of my trophies really quick. And uh, that's about it. As you can see, quite a few bears here, and all from uh, Canada, and some from New Mexico, and so hopefully uh, you'll enjoy this little uh, video footage I put together, and um, give Norm a call. He's the real deal. Believe me, I know. I've uh, I've seen the good the bad and the ugly out there regarding uh, outfitters and um, he is definitely the character. Anyways over and out, good hunting season coming to you. Bye now. Well this old uh, cabin here is the uh, camp house where everybody stays as far as the hunters and this is where Norm and his family lived for many a years before they moved to the other uh, the other bed and breakfast place there behind it. So I'll take you for a little tour inside. You know, it's no Taj Mahal, but I tell you, it's been really comfortable. <clears throat> and this is where Big Norm does the cooking for your breakfast. And he's got a nice big old freezer here. So he does his breakfast here, and we have a little bit of dinner here also in, at nighttime. And uh, this is the kitchen area here. Big Norm, you're allowed to smile. There you go. He's cooking us up some uh, of his famous French toast. It's nothing famous, but it's... <laughs> and we got uh, all, all appliances here, a little microwave, full showers area, nice hot water, John. Washer and dryer hookups. I just sometimes people want to know what they're getting as far as uh, the, the clubhouse here. He's got three separate rooms, and what's nice with Norm, he only takes four hunters a week. Three or four. Three or four, and uh, this works out really great. You got a couple of bunks there. Nice little sofa area where we all hang out and BS a little bit. There's another room. You have a hard job to keep this from popping up. <clears throat> and over here is the presidential suite. I know when your ass is like this right out. I know when ass is like this. I mean, but like, my legs are all muscle. 
the presidential suite here. And that's about it for the clubhouse. Like I said, it's no Taj Mahal, but it gets the job done. And uh, it's been more than comfortable. Nice old wood stove. It gets a little cold. Alrighty, well we gotta get putting up a couple stands and get ready for tonight's hunt. Over and out.
Was that exciting or what? That's a beautiful bird. It's about 2, 250. He just gave, gave the death moan. He's definitely out of commission. Beautiful bear. I had a different bear come in. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm all psyched up here. Gorgeous bear. I mean, I, I put in about seven days here. Just, uh, just really stoked. Anyways, this uh, other bear came in. And on the camera it was showing that it was pretty bald and rubbed pretty bad. So I didn't want to take that one. But this one here has just uh, got a perfect coat. Got a little tinge of chocolate to him. But uh, anyways, i got to give the boys a call and, uh, and uh, call it a day. Alrighty. Again, hoof and paw. Big Norm, you did it. Over and out. Hey everybody, Mark Tedesco here with Big Norm. Norm DeWitt from Hoof and Paw Outfitting in McAdam, New Brunswick, Canada. Unbelievable time, guys. Let me tell you something. For 1300 bucks, license, food, everything included, professional skinning, refrigeration of your meat, you can't beat it. Unbelievable time, great food, three, three good square meals a day, and the dinner at 2 o'clock, uh, his wife does it, Kathy, and it's phenomenal. So all I could say is... Uh, Great time. Norm has been a superb, very hospitable guest. Uh, you know, taking me on for the last six days. I, you know, I've been through a lot of camps in my time. Uh, harvested quite a few bears, as some of you might know. But uh, one of the most enjoyable hunts is this one right here in little old New Brunswick. Real short drive from Connecticut, from the tri state area. You, you just really can't beat it, guys. Norm. I want to thank you very much, man. Thank you, Mark. Yes, Pleasure sir. having you. Yep, yep. And uh, what else uh, can you tell us a little bit about your operation here? Um, how many baits do you have going? Well, it's according to the, how many hunters is coming, but, you know, I keep yeah. 30 going anyways. 30 baits. Yeah. And he really does a great job on the baiting, guys. There's none of this, like, every other day stuff. Every day the baits are being pounded. And, uh, you know, the other really great thing about it is he only takes three or four guys per week. So there's none of this... Uh, cluster what I used to say uh, I'm not gonna say it on camera but it's not like you got ten guys and who's drunk who isn't who's making noise there's just three or four guys in camp and that's the way to do it if anyone ever wants to give me a call Norm has my phone number and uh, this will be going on his website so give him a call you'll have a great time thanks again Norm thank you Mark. over and out <laughs>